Hi folks, this is SJ from Honest Used Car Reviews. Today we'll be reviewing this 1997 Pontiac Grand Prix GTP. This car could be briefly resumed as a complicated demonstration of dominance. In 1997 has seen the introduction of the 6th generation of the Grand Prix being the second gen in front wheel drive. It featured a large width of 72.7 inches and an extended length to 196 and a half inches thus gaining a wide track branding. Reminiscent by name of the late 60s similar marketing plot, it had nothing in common and arguably we could deduce GM simply wanted to use wider is better slogan. The GTP is the highest selectable option on the GT trim in 97. But what does GTP mean anyway? Of course, the GT is simply grand touring, but the P is more complicated. Some say it means package or performance or prototype, even paradox. But I will go with the same player, P E N I. Will not go there because I do not need to make 85% of my content sexually related to make the reviews entertaining. So let's go back on the car. It shows a distinctively different shape than most of its rival of the time. Amusingly, this structure was dubbed Coca Cola Bottle. A large round of bottom with the addition of a narrow top represent this feel. On the interior, we can see the Grand Prix offers a large luxury value. Spacious room with driver front headed power leather seats, power windows and locks, cruise control, 8 bow speakers, heads up display and drive information control. The quality of plastic is pretty crude but at least the styling still makes it quite relevant even today. In fact, GM could upgrade these with modern LEDs lightning and stereo and it will have a much better value than those they sell today. It is definitely a great feeling to drive one of these now holders W body. The ride is smooth and unmenacing. It feels like driving a sofa down the road. But who wants to do that? When you want to drive, you want to feel connected to the road, experience its every curve and default. And of course, the greatest hurdle to this feeling is an automatic transmission. The 4060E HD is a good highway cruiser. Its gearing gives it a reasonable fuel economy, but reliability is pretty much a Pandora box it is hit or miss. Stuck, it could handle hundreds of horsepower or break within as many miles. And what could make so much horsepower? Let's find out. The GM 3800. In this specific incarnation, the L67, it outputs 240 horsepower and 280 foot-pounds of torque. The very same engine as in your grandparents' Buick, but with a Heaton M90 supercharger. Literally, GM plastered this power plant in everything they could at the time. It was proven great in service for taxi company and police departments alike. GM built 25 millions of these. Yet, there was one major flaw. The lower intake manifold gasket. It seems like General Motors intentionally did not fix it by changing the plastic to metal. And let's face it, it was only to save about what, 25 cents per car? Hopefully they did understand from that, or maybe not. Now in conclusion, is this car a good car to buy? If you are seeking a fast, reliable and cheap car, and you find one that was well taken care of, it is an excellent buy. Now, 
If you're looking for fuel economy or a small city car, then don't buy it. And now I hear you coming. Hey SJ, is this the sleeper tin car? Well, that's a complicated question you got there, but it can be answered very easily in two parts. First, we have to go back in 97. Was it the sleeper back then? I will illustrate that with a little table with the GTP main competitions from its rival. The stats in greens are better than the GTP, red means worse and yellow is equivalent. And now I will show you the price. So yeah, it is quite a sleeper. But now, is it still a sleeper in 2015? considering even a Camry outputs more power. That can only be explained by a complicated dramatization. Picture yourself at a red light, a straight road stretching to infinity in front, your favorite song playing, and all of a sudden it happens. On your left emerges a 99 Acura EL, driven by a testosterone-filled young adult the baseball cap backward, revving its engine without bounce. But you will let it flow. You're a ground intelligent sensible person now. And then the light turns green and he drops a clutch. So what does a ground intelligent sensible person does in that case? Of course, you smash a gas pedal and you can feel the traction, the supercharged whine, the speed growing in you, and it hits you, full force. You are six car length in front. You won the race, it's all over now. And then of course, he does a riser flyby. So what does a ground intelligent sensible person does in that case? Of course. Magic the gas pedal again. Then you win again without challenge in your sleeper car. And in the same race, you have completed twice a complicated demonstration of dominance. 